Hi Stampers, it's Nancy from Stamp and Shout. Welcome to my YouTube Live. I had to wait for the clock to start chiming before I began. So welcome. Today I want to share with you some Petal Park cards. So Petal Park is a stamp set that you can find in the mini catalog and it comes with a coordinating punch. So I really, really like this set. I've been using it a lot. I've been stamping and punching flowers like crazy. Um, it comes with a lined image and then a solid image. And you can mix and match. You can just do lines. You can just do solid. And the same thing with the flowers. So you can stamp three flowers at once. And then you can stamp the lines. You can stamp them in solids. Um, and it's got a couple other accessory stamps that come with it. And I like it. It's all stamps. It's all images. No sentiments but you can mix it with any stamp set that you have, you know, happy birthday. And we're going to do Easter cards today and a spring card. So I have lots of little hints and tips. So uh, these are the cards we're going to make. So this is the first one. This is fresh freesia with a gorgeous grape and a little bit of Highland Heather. I love this card. The colors are so pretty in person. And then we have this card. I like this with the texture on it and the, all the different colors, Easter colors. And then we have this one with the little cross on it and a sentiment, hoping this spring brings you many blessings. So let's get started. We're gonna start with this one. So I am bringing in a piece of card stock. This is Fresh Freesia. And I just wanna show you one thing really quick. I have a few new people that may be watching. So I wanna talk a little bit about just cutting this card stock. So your card stock, is eight and a half by 11 and I cut it right down the middle at five and a half and then I turned it and I scored it at four and a quarter so that's basically how you do all your card bases whether they be cardstock or white whatever so again this is eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter so that's my card base then I have a small layer of gorgeous grape and a little bit smaller layer of white. That's gonna be my stamping piece. And then I have a piece of designer series paper. The designer series paper is three inches by four and a quarter. And I will have all the sizes on my blog. My, my blog is stampandshout.com. Um, I have a link down below to go to my blog. So I will have all the sizes listed there and I will have all the supplies listed there. So if I forget to tell you, or if I make a mistake, It'll all be there, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's start with this one. So I'm going to bring in the lined image. Actually, bring in the lined image is right here. These are photo polymer stamps, which are see-through stamps, and they're very movable. So I'm going to give you a little tip as we proceed because you want to make sure that you line these up correctly. So photo polymer stamps are nice and easy to line up because you can see through them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my little stamp down there. I just cleaned this stamping block, so I think it's a little slippery. And then I'm going to ink it up in Memento Black ink. So this is a big stamp, so I'm just going to take my stamp pad and do it this way. And we're going to ink that up. And then I'm going to stamp it in the middle, a little bit near the top, so I have room for my sentiment at the bottom. So just going to go ahead and stamp that right there. So I'm going to give it a good push and hold it a second, make sure all that ink saturates that paper. And there we go. So now, this is going to be your first tip. I'm going to clean this stamp off. I'm going to bring, clean it off with my little chamois. This is my little chamois. Just wet it, wring it out, and you can use it over and over and over again. So now I'm going to bring in the solid image. And like I said, these are meant to, it's a two-step, so they're meant to overlap. But since they are movable, 
I have to make sure that it's positioned up correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my stamp over just as if I was stamping and I'm going to line it up on that image below. And again, it's see-through so you can see exactly where you want it to be. So there we go. I'm going to bring my stamping block in and pick up that stamp. Now I'm going to ink it up so it's all lined up. Now I'm going to ink that up in Highland Heather. So if you're watching me live, please say hi. Even if you're watching me on replay, go ahead and type in the comments hi. Let me know where you're from. It's a very cold day here in Michigan. Very, very cold. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to bring it a little closer so I can see. And I'm just looking through all the different areas, top and bottom, left and right. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. And there you go. Perfect little image. Isn't that pretty? It's really beautiful in person. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. And then we'll step, go on to the flowers. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment in gorgeous grape. Just a little bit darker in the purple family. So I found my Happy Easter stamp. Let me see here if I can find it real quick. In Celebrating You, it's a stamp set full of great sentiments. And Happy Easter is one of them. So I am inked this up in gorgeous grape. And I'm just going to stamp this right at the bottom. And now we're going to make some flowers. So I'm going to bring in a scrap of white. And I'm going to stamp my flowers in the Memento Black ink. And I'm going to stamp the lined image first. So I already have these mounted, the lined image and the solid image. So the lined image, I'm just going to ink it up in the Memento. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp it right here on the scrap. And then I'm going to stamp it another time because we're going to use fresh freesia flowers and highland heather flowers. So I'll stamp it one more time down here. So I'm just stamping down here in the corner because I know I have to punch it out and this piece of scrap has to fit into the punch. But I'm going to show you a little trick if it doesn't. So now I'm going to bring in highland heather and the solid stamp. And ink this up and we're going to look through that stamp set and we're going to look all over top and bottom left and right make sure everything's lined up and just give it a good push Ooh, that's so pretty gorgeous so i'm cleaning my stamp off and i'm going to bring in fresh freesia Fresh Freesia is one of the colors that's going to be retiring soon, and it sure is a pretty one. I hate to see it go, but you can buy it ahead of time. You can buy the cardstock and the ink before it disappears. Again, I will have all the supplies on my blog, so you'll know exactly what I used. Oh, love it. I wish you guys were sitting here with me and you could see it in person because it is gorgeous. I know it doesn't come through as well on the camera. So now I'm going to bring in my punch and I'm just going to line it up. So sometimes when you stamp, the paper doesn't always fit exactly right, but you just kind of trim that away. And you 
work with it. I'm just moving this around in here until it lines up. It's really easy to do. And then I'm going to give it a punch. So there are three of our flowers. Now let's go the other way. And again, see it doesn't fit in here exactly like I need it to. That's why you use scraps. You save your scraps because you'd be amazed at what you can stamp. Get rid of this piece. And there we go. So now we'll put our card together. So I'm going to bring, whoop, get all my flower pieces here before I lose them. So this piece is going to go right on the front, right in the middle. So I'm just going to glue that down. And a little trick, if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to use this whole piece. Only a little bit of it is going to show. So I could actually cut it down to a one inch piece and just glue it on each side. Just a little way to save a little bit of pretty paper. So this is going to go right in the middle. So I'm just lining it up with my eyes, just kind of figuring out where it's got to be centered. And that is done. I'm going to bring in our piece here and I'm going to bring in my dimensionals and we're going to pop up some of these flowers that we just punched out. So let's see here. I'm looking at my little sample here. So this pretty fresh freesia or pink flower, it's going to go right here. So I'm just putting it right there. Then I have another one. This is the medium size flower. Put a dimensional on the back of that. And we'll put that one right around here. And then I have a little one. So for this little flower, I think I'll just cut a piece of dimensional right at the edge there little smaller piece and we'll pop that one up we'll put that right there and then I'll take a Highland Heather piece flower and we're going to glue that one down right there and then I'm going to take the medium size Highland Heather. Put a little glue on there and we'll put that one right down here. Then I have a little teeny tiny stamp from the Petal Park stamp set. It's the little dots. And I think I'm just going to add a few little dots here and there on my card. It's very subtle. But it's pretty. And then we're going to glue this together, and then I'm going to finish it off with some pretty embellishments and a bow. So this piece goes on here just like that, but I'm going to trim that down just a little bit just because, well, actually, I think I'll leave it. I'll show you what it, this one fits exactly just like that. And this one, I just trimmed it down so it has a, a tinier edge. Either way, they both are beautiful. So I think I'm just going to leave this one alone. And this size will be the size that is on my blog. So you'll know exactly how big to cut it down. So we're going to put that right there in the center. Nice little border. And then I'm going to bring in my dimensionals and we're going to pop it up. You could glue it down. I'll put 
one in the middle. So that was pretty quick and easy. I'm going to show you how to make a bow on your fingers, and that'll finish this off. So these are adhesive back milky dots, and I'm going to put a few of them here and there. Just to add a little bit of a wow factor. Pretty. Oh, beautiful. There we go. So there it is before the bow. Let me bring in my ribbon. This is Fresh Freesia ribbon. And let's see. I'm going to cut about, about 11 inches. And then I'm just going to tie a little quick bow inky fingers on my fingers. So I'm just going to wrap it around. I cut a little bit extra ribbon more than I needed, but it's for camera, it's easier than trying to fiddle with a small piece. I'm just going to pull that real tight. Slide it off. And there we have a pretty bow. And then I will add that to my card with a glue dot. So Stampin' Up! has the best glue dots. <laughs> They're just the right size and the best dimensionals. So we're going to add that right there. Oops. Did I get the glue? Glue dot? Didn't peel it away. There we go. Put it right. I'm trying to decide where I want it. Right there. Okay, so card one is done. And there you go. So we stamped the leaves right on the card, stamped the flowers, punched them out, and popped them up. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's get on to card number two. Card number two. I love this one. I wanted, this was actually the first one I made. I was trying to make something with lots of pretty, pretty um, Easter colors. So this one has a gorgeous grape card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half and scored right in the middle at four and a quarter. It has a matte piece of Whisper White or Basic White. We can go ahead and glue that down right now while we're talking. And then the next layer is five by three and three quarters. And I ran that through the um, cane weave embossing folder. So that's the cane weave embossing folder. I just put my piece of paper in there and ran it through my machine. And it came out with that beautiful, beautiful texture. And we can go ahead and add that to our card right now. And then my next layer is a piece of white that I cut out using the contoured, the scallop contour dies. And these are one of my favorite dies because you can use them with any stamp set. They go with the, any, they just go with anything, and they have all different sizes. And I've made so many cards using these, that little, the, the contour dies. So I just love them. So now, what did I do next? I'm gonna head, bring in my scrap again. And on this one, same thing. I stamped. I'm not gonna do that again to show you, just for save on time. But I went ahead and stamped the leaf image in the lines, and I stamped the solid image uh, in pear pizzazz, and I actually have that done. And then I cut it in half. So here was my, my image. I cut it right in half, and then I fussy cut all around the edges. So instead of stamping directly on here, I cut it out so I have a couple of pieces that I can add. And then I started stamping flowers. 
in the Memento ink. And on these, I colored them in with the Stampin' Blends. So let's go ahead and stamp a couple of flowers. I'll try it over here and see if we have enough space. So I can't see any comments. I'm not sure if you guys are out there commenting. Um, if you're having trouble commenting, I think you just have to give uh, StreamYard uh, the, the right to uh, allow you to leave comments. StreamYard is the software that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and punch these out. And then we're going to color them in with the stamping blends. You see again it won't fit exactly in there so I'm just going to cut away a little bit here. Give me some room. Now I could have stamped the solid image on here. It's kind of the same effect but I didn't. I colored them in with my stamping blends. I wanted to show you what that was like. So let's see if my card here what do I have? We'll just color in that many. So this was the easiest, easiest thing to do. So if you have your stamping blends, it's so easy. So I just took my stamping blends and this is Highland Heather. Oh, is it Highland Heather? Oh, it's the dark Highland Heather. Oh, well, I'm going to do a different one. Here, I have a Highland Heather from before. So let's go on to the blue, the balmy blue. I don't want to have to go look for that. All I did was basically, I colored in the middle like that, and I did a real quick coloring. And I left the white showing on purpose. I thought that was really pretty. So let's see, we'll do a pink one. I kind of mix these colors up. This is Flirty Flamingo. It's light Flirty Flamingo. And you can color it in as much as you want. I have a little one in the daffodil. And I am going to have to look for that highlight Heather. Well, that didn't take long. So I'm going to do one more in the Highland Heather. And I'm going to punch one more because I want it to be the same. Boy, that came out really, really dark. Hmm. Interesting, huh? I'm thinking. I am going to stamp again because I, let's see, I want that one. Yep, I got to, I want to stamp some more guys. So I'm being picky with my colors here. Do I like this one? <laughs> this is the dark. Let me try it and see. I think I like the dark. See, you change your mind. Deciding which end of the tip to use. No, nope, I want it lighter than that. I guess that's a new a new stamping blend. So let's do another one. There we go. Well, I know I want a large flower in the pink. Let's go ahead and punch this out. Whoops. Gotta keep cutting away to make room. 
if you're making a lot of these cards, you can make them using your Stamparatus. I have a video out there showing how I used my Stamparatus for, um, with the Petal Park. So I want a big pink flower on this card. And I do like the idea of that white showing through. I think that's really pretty. And I want a small blue one. I got that one, that one, a small blue one, that one, and a yellow one. I think we're set. And I save all these flowers in a little tiny bag for other projects. So let's bring this back in. So what I did to put this together was I kind of figured out where I wanted this to go. And I kept everything on the left side here. So I went like that, and I went like that. And then I stamped my Happy Easter greeting, and I stamped that in the gorgeous grape. And after I did that, then I laid my everything down with the glue and the dimensionals. There we go. So now let's just throw all these flowers here and there and see what we come up with. So again, I'm going to bring in my dimensionals and I'm going to start off. I'm kind of going to dry fit it first, see where I want it to be. Okay, so I know I want that there, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this leaf down. Put it about right there. And then this one I popped up with the dimensional. So I'm going to put that right there. And then this pink flower is going to be slid underneath like that. And this is going to go right there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that in place. So you just kind of play with it. That pink one's going to go there. We're going to pop a blue one up right there. This one I glued down, the pink one. Kind of slid it underneath. Like that. I think we'll glue this one down up at the top. Put this one down here. Pretty. Now we're going to pop this whole thing up with dimensionals. And then we're going to add our bow and our pretty little dots embellishments. See how pretty that is? Oh, it's gorgeous. Like that. And I have a bow already made since I already showed that to you. So bring back in the glue dots. Card number two is done. 
So what do you think about that? Isn't that pretty? I love the colors. Gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I wish you guys could see it in person. Well, you're just going to have to make your own. And by the way, I do uh, offer make and takes with a minimum purchase at my online store. So between now and Monday night, if you make a purchase at my store, I will sell you, sell, not sell you, I will send you the make and takes for all three of these cards. And this is the third card. That's the card we're going to make right now. So make and takes are a great way. Make and takes give you all the pieces, anything that's textured, everything is already cut down. The only thing you have to do is stamp. Uh, Stampin' Up! doesn't allow us to stamp. So you stamp your own card and put it all together. Okay, so on to our next card. This has a lot of stamping. So I have my gorgeous grape card base that is eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it down the middle. And I have a layer of white that is five and a quarter by four. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down. And then I have a piece of white that's five by three and three quarters. That's going to be my stamping piece. First, we'll go ahead and we'll do the cross. So I have two pieces of white. Um, they're one inch by three and one inch by four and a half. And on the one inch by three, we're going to go ahead and stamp on that. And then we're going to emboss it with some texture. So this one... I'm going to stamp, hoping this spring brings you many blessings. So we're going to stamp first, right in the center of that, and then we're going to emboss it. So now I'm going to bring in the timber embossing folder. And I'm just going to line these pieces up in here to give it texture, make it look like wood. And let me run that through real quick. I didn't want to have this done ahead of time because I wanted to show you that you need to stamp first and then emboss. So there you go. It's got that pretty texture on it. So we're going to save that and we're going to start stamping. So the first thing I stamped were the leaves. So let me look for my leaf image. So this is the solid image and that's how I, this one I did all in solids. And when we're done in a minute, I will show you the very same card that I did in lined images. So this is a soft succulent. And I just kind of stamped it here and there. And this is one that you're just going to play with, knowing that you're going to end up putting that there. So I'm going to bring in my uh, chamois, and I'm going to show you why. As soon as I find that stamp pad that I just had. Okay. So I'm going to clean this off all through this because sometimes I'm just going to stamp up a leaf or two and I'll show you what I mean. So I just stamped or I inked up half of this. And now I'm going to ink up. Let me clean this off. So I basically just have some leaves around the edge. And I'm not worried about it overlapping. You'll see when we put it together, this is a very, very easy, very, very easy um, stamping image. So I'm using, using polished pink. And I'm going to bring in my lined image, make sure it's clean. 
Oh, you know, hang on a second. Let me clean this. So I am just going to ink up. I just inked up the one little medium size flower. And it's really easy to do. You'll see once you're doing it yourself. Okay, let's start with that. Now I'm going to bring in the solid stamp and just going to line it up and fill it in. Just like that. Wait to see when this is all done. You're going to love it. And it's fun. You can't make a mistake on this because it's just a mishmash. If you make a mistake, you're just going to kind of overlap it. Okay, so now I have somewhere. I'm going to find all my ink pads here. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Oh, here it is. I was looking for my lined image. And I'm going to bring in the gorgeous grape. Let me get this little piece of paper off there. And I kind of just did a lined image in the gorgeous grape. Just like that. Clean that off. Save it for later. And now I'm going to bring in Fresh Freesia. So you just play with this. This is fun, you guys. It's a little bit um, hard for me because I'm trying to hurry, but you'll, you're going to love the end results. I'm just looking to see how this lines up. Just like that. And let's see what else. I'm trying to see what else. Where's my cross? need something down here. So I am going to bring in some balmy blue. And I'm going to put some solid ones down here in the balmy blue. Just keep laying this down to see where I need some color. I like just that solid blue without the line on it. That's really pretty. What else? I think I need some more pink down here. I think I'll do one more little blue here. And I'm just going off the side on this one. I'm not going like that. And then let's see. I think we're going to bring in, just looking at all the colors on my desk. This is a little solid leaf stamp, and this is a different green. This is Pear Pizzazz, just a little bit different. I'm going to get a pink flower down here in the bottom. So this is the flirty flamingo. So I saved this one for last because it does, it takes a little bit of time just to figure out what colors you want and where you want them. 
And I think if I can find my stamp. I'm going to do a few of these. I think I'm going to do a few pink ones with just the line stamp. Kind of put it by the big pink flower. And we're going to line this up like that. And then I think the very last thing I'm going to do, well, first I'm going to close up some of these stamp pads. I got ink on here. I'm going to see if I can stamp that one more time. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because I already embossed. But I think for... good for camera purposes it's good so I want to show you this finished card so actually I'm going to take the little dot stamp and I'm going to put some dots in here let me close all these up so that was just plain old fun stamping you guys simple stamping and I'm going to bring in the little dots and I'm going to put some yellow in here Daffodil. Pretty, really pretty. Okay, I think that's good. I think you get the idea. So let's just put this together. Add a bow. So I'm going to go ahead and glue our stamping piece down. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> Welcome. So happy you joined me and commented. So yeah, this final card took a little bit of time on camera, but it was fun, 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 fun. So I'm gluing this piece down first, the long up and down piece of the cross. Put that right there in the center. And then we'll put our cross piece, the cross piece of the cross. And we're going to go ahead and put that right there. And then I have a bow that I made earlier. Thank you, Kathy. We'll just add that little bow. And there you go. So we got a simple stamped card. And this is so much fun, you guys. You just have to stamp away. You can start with the larger piece and just stamp, 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 and then cut your size down to the five by three and three quarter. And then our pretty floral spray. So we have two of those. And then our pretty lavender and pink, Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia. So there you go. There are your three Petal Park cards. I hope you liked them. Again, if you'd like the make and takes, I can mail those right to your house. Uh, you can find all the details on my blog and at stampandshout.com. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for sharing some of your Saturday with me. Please leave me some comments, whether you're watching me live or on tape. And I'll see you next time. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.